worse from wherever I was. You didn't happen to see an elephant out there, did you? I know. Don't, don't tell me you can't find the elephant. Well, I didn't lose her. I just kind of misplaced her. Oh, sure. Anybody can make an elephant disappear. The, the real trick is bringing her back. Well, that really would be something. But sure it would, but that's impossible. Don't you know that nothing's impossible? Your problem, Michael, is that your mind is too restricted by what you think reality is. When we do magic, we manipulate reality to create illusion. And when we do that, we make the impossible possible. Look, if I was to take something that was impassable, and it was to pass something right through it, mm -hmm. it would no longer be impassable, would it? No, but I don't think it's possible to make something impassable passable. It's possible it's passable. Doug, if it's passable, it's impossible for it to be impassable. Look, why argue? Let me demonstrate. Adele is bringing over something very real and very fragile, a balloon, and its natural enemy, a long, sharp steel needle. Everyone knows in reality what happens when you try to pass a needle through a balloon. But in the world of magic, nothing is impossible or impassable. Watch. An elephant never forgets, and neither do I. Doug, I think you're at the end of your rope. <laughs> A good magician's never at the end of his rope, fellas. Thank you. <laughs> this is a, an ordinary clothesline rope. Michael, I'm going to go with the audience and get a volunteer. And I'm going to show you that seeing is not always believing. Somebody likes to help me, please. A young lady. Would you like to help me? Hi. What's your name? Make sure it's exactly the kind of thing I said it was. Just an ordinary clothesline. Look all right. Good. Take the scissors, please, and cut the rope right about there. Now, I'd like you to take the ends of the rope and tie them into a knot, okay? Take a lot of ends so there's some hanging over, okay? That's good. Just tie a good, solid knot. Now, as Christine is tying this knot, she's forming certain expectations about the way the knot behaves. She's forming certain beliefs. Tie another one, okay? Just to make sure. Great. You happy with that knot? Good and tight? Thank you. Come on down and stand at this end of the rope. Keep one eye on the rope, one eye on the knot, and the other eye on me, okay? <laughs> I'm now going to shatter all your beliefs about what you think this knot is. Watch. Now! <laughs> Doug does with fire, and as I said earlier, he'll soon risk his life against that element. And don't forget, this is all being done without the aid of any camera tricks. But now we're going to see, or think we see, what Doug can do with air. He wouldn't think air was a very promising medium for illusion. It's so commonplace. It's all around us. We breathe it, we pollute it, we inflate things with it. But Doug treats air as an element of wonder. Now, I realize that Doug's a heavyweight when it comes to magic and a featherweight when it comes to actual size. But even I never thought that Doug was actually lighter than air. Apparently he is. <laughs> 